have the pleasure of speaking with Karim from Metallum Resources. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I have to tell you, Karim, I was just telling an associate of mine that you have the best written marketing deck I have seen in years for clearly articulating your goals and objectives. And I'll tell you, if you're not excited, by the time you're done reading this marketing deck, send me a note and we'll give you a free Critical Minerals uh, membership. <laughs> so let's start right at the top. You've had a lot of news happening right now. You're a zinc, one of the highest grade zinc deposits that's going into production in North America. Is that correct? That is correct. It is the highest uh, zinc, highest grade zinc development project uh, in North America for sure. Um, but we also have high grade copper too, one percent. Of course, we're going to get to the copper and gold and silver. So let's just start at the top. You've just recently started trading on the OTCQB, and you've added a new chairman onto your board, and you've just made a deal with Pays Platt First Nation. Start there. Talk to us about your negotiation agreement that you just made with the First Nation. Absolutely. So one of the first things we did, I did when I took over, or we did when we took over the project, was uh, reach out to the First Nations. Uh, we're in a peace black territory. Our project is, so we understand the importance, you know, to have them be partner with us. You know, going forward, this is uh, not only to benefit the company but the local communities, and that's where the First Nations come in. So historically, this uh, this is a, was an this was an operating mine with in enormous numbers because of the grade. Uh, so we benefit from all these infrastructure being in place, but the First Nations were not involved in the in the in the past. So our conversations have been very very supportive and productive, and they have been supportive. They are supporting us, um, but we wanted to put it on paper so that it is more present in, in ways to say it. Now we're going into an IBA process with them. But Chief was with me at the PDAC, uh, helping me lobby the you know federal and uh, provincial ministers, ministries, um, and other local, um, other, other people that are the stakeholders of this. So um, it's great to see, and we signed the agreement to move things forward. So it's more in an official way, um, even though they've been very supportive unofficially. It seems to me you're making a lot of very wise decisions as you're lining up your team to move this product project forward. But I also read that you're striving to become a B corporation or B corporation certified. What does that mean, please? Yes, that is one of the things um, we want to achieve. It's uh, we are on our way path to get certified. What is it? It's an ESG recognized um, um, ESG certification. So the things we are doing, the things we want to do as we move forward, that's one way to document it, right? Like, as we always say, mining companies, junior or majors, they've been very good on the ESG perspective of things, but we never measured or recorded those. So B certification allows us to do in a very efficient and cost-effective way um, it's not a carbon credit thing. It's just to measure things and how to see where to improve things. Uh, I mean, Nestle is just doing that. I saw uh, on one of the videos yesterday, Nestle, like big names, some other mining companies um, are starting to get into that as well. Uh, it's great to see what we do is going to be measurable. So in reading your very well written about paragraph, you also have amazing economic returns. And right now you're racing down, you've got many of your permits and licenses in place, and you're just getting everything ready to make a final investment decision. Can you tell us as, you know, potential shareholders what that actually means, Karen? Absolutely. That is critical. Um, having the high grade zinc and copper with, with great infrastructure, the location, as well as having all the major infrastructure being having in place allows us two things. Um, one is obviously short time to production, fantastic economics, which I'm going to get to, but also easier permitting process. We have the tailings dam, we have the road, we have electricity. The road is 20 kilometers from Trans Canada Highway, 27 kilometers for railway station and uh, underground development, um, all the, all the infrastructure is there. We just need the final couple of permits to get into production. Now, having said that, 
This is the highest grade zinc development project in North America, as you mentioned, which allows us with a fantastic, robust economics. We have the feasibility study published. So we're moving into, into um, development stage. The feasibility study with conservative numbers are still very, very attractive. It was based on $1.2 per pound zinc with 23, 24% IRR after tax and PV is $130 million. Now, it hasn't been $1.2 per pound. It's been way over than that. So we're probably looking at 30 to 35% IRR with $200, $250 million of MPV. This is such high grade that if you look at it in terms of gold equivalents, it is 13 grams per ton at 1 million ounces. <laughs> it's incredible. It's incredible any way you look at it. That allows us to be um, very fortunate in terms of returns and, um, and short timeline to production as well. Sorry. Okay. So short term to production, when are we going to be producing? Because I'll tell you, <laughs> it's hard not to hear your update without going, okay, all right. But very intriguing. Uh, start to do your due diligence, of course. Uh, what's our timeline for production? That's a, that's a great question. So we have a bunch of permits like ARECA and all that. Uh, we have a, all the um, tailings is working and everything. What we are working on right now is get the dewatering permit done so we can start dewatering the underground workings. That will allow us to go underground and you know do a bulk sample and eventually move into production. If everything goes according to the plan, which has contingency plan on time in, ter in terms of um, timelines, uh, but if it goes according to the plan, subject to financing, which we are working on, I can update you on that as well. Uh, we're looking at probably two years from now. Uh, that's with conservative estimation, because all we need to do is dewater, put the decline in, uh, which is which is going to take 10 months in total with the decline, say 12, 13 months uh, with contingency. It's better to be safe than sorry. Two years is very realistic, I think. Well. Wow. For everybody interested in Metallum resources, please go to the following link. And Karim, we have to have you on more often and get you on an investor talk. So thank you so much for the update today. I'd love to. Thanks for having me. 